Hey guys, I hope everybody had a great weekend. Yeah, I am very excited. Christmas time is one of my favorite times of the year. And it's not just the gifts or the commercial commercialism, but um, I just really appreciate uh, what it stands for and what it means. I know we had a ton of different traditions um, at home. So, uh, for example, on Christmas Eve, my, well, my dad's a pastor, and he uh, worked with uh, the jail system in the town that I grew up in. Every Christmas Eve, he would have a candlelight service that he would do, and he was able to bring the trustees, uh, there usually would be one or two from the jail, to the uh, uh, to the, um, t t t the candlelight service, and then we would go home, and we'd have gingerbread and donuts and cookies, and the inmates, uh, they would, uh, the prisons or the jail would let the inmates come home with us, and uh, it was it was a lot of fun. We had we couldn't get them any real you know big gifts, but we can give them like food stuff that they can take back uh, into the jail with them. And one year uh, the jail system allowed three ladies, and you know they didn't have any clothes, so mom was able to um, let them go through her closet, and you know, my mom didn't have a whole lot of clothes either, and so it wasn't like you know this grand closet full of stuff but you know the ladies got to pick what they wanted to wear to church and it those kind of things I really appreciate and I really enjoy um, I like the lights oh we got to put up our Christmas tree did it it's our uh, it's our tradition to put it up the Sunday after Thanksgiving so let me see if I can show it to you uh, do you see it kind of I don't know if see I can't tell uh, so yeah, so there's the tree, and um, we got the we have the lights going on, and then this Saturday is our Christmas party. It's the first Saturday every month, so we're getting ready to do that. And I found the best stuff. So we have a real tree. I've always had a real tree, and um, for and I just like I just like the real trees, and I like the way they smell. Uh, but we went to Bed Bath and Beyond, and we have like a little. You know, that wood potpourri stuff that you buy, it's like six bucks, and it, you know, the Christmas stuff has like Chris wooden balls or whatever that never really smells. But we went to Bed Bath and Beyond, and they have these little, their room spray really. Um, this is what they look like. Uh, they're like five bucks. Uh, but I went there and I was like, do you have anything to spray like on the tree um, or on the potpourri stuff? And they're like, the lady who helped me said, we only have room spray, but. It's really concentrated, and you can spray it on there, and it'll last a long time. She said, room spray really doesn't last because you spray it in the air, and it just seeks into the carpet, and then after you walk on it, you know, it goes away. But this stuff is really good, so I have, like, this creamy nutmeg stuff, and I have um, the perfect Christmas tree. And we spray this on our wreath outside the door, and... Um, and then we, uh, I give it like a couple squirts on the tree. But I'm going to go back there and get a couple. So if you want um, one of, a couple of these, you know, I'll send them to you. Just put your, that you want to be in the drawing in the comments. Let me know what kind of flavors or scents you like. You like cinnamon or mint or, you know, the cookie flavors or the pine tree. Let me know. And I will head out. Uh, maybe Thursday, maybe, uh, I might not be able to get to it until the weekend, because I'm pretty busy, but I will get it, and I'll get it to you in the mail, and we'll have a drawing, um, no, it was tomorrow, Wednesday, Wednesday or Thursday, so just let me know what you like, and I'll get that out to you. Beth, I got your postcard, uh, let me, okay, I'll be right back. Um, uh, thanks, Lisa. Again, since my camera just takes like stills as I go, I can't tell. But see, it's this ornament, and it's on the beach, and it says, Melikiliki Makai. And there's little turtles in the ornament. So this was actually our second um, Christmas card, and we put them um, behind me. I don't know if you can see. I'll raise up a bit where those blue lights are. We're going to put them right above. Um, right above there. And so, thank you, Beth. Thank you, thank you. And I, I love Christmas cards. 
And, um, oh yeah, Sean's last name is Smith. But you spelled it right, Beth. S-H-A-W-N. He always says, it's not seen, it's Sean. So, Smith. Sean Smith. Thank you, Beth. I really appreciate it. I just like that stuff. And and I keep the Christmas cards, and then the following year, I cut out the pictures and use them for name tags on the gifts. I know, so every year I have a new supply. Um, but, uh, yeah, work is going well, you know, ever since our coworker uh, was let go last week. Things in the office are much better. I didn't realize, I really didn't realize that that was a lot of the problem. I guess she was really upset with me because I did things. That's the phone. Um, hold on, hold on one second. All right, so that was Sean. Um, he was just calling me from the gym, letting me know that he was coming home so I can put the uh, ground turkey in the skillet and start. I think we're gonna have tacos tonight. But anyway, yeah, the managers are a lot. They're not as uptight. They come into our office now and they chit chat with us. So it's good. Things are good. Um, and we restructured a bunch of stuff today. So I think that's going well. Uh, but anyway, I hope everybody is doing well. And um, I haven't been able to watch any videos. So I think maybe tonight I may do that. But at 8 o'clock, Santa Claus is Coming to Town is on TV with Burgermeister Meister Burger. So I'm going to watch that in 25 minutes. Okay, guys. Bye. Talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye.